Hello everyone. A light rod of length 1 meter is pivoted at its center and two masses of 5 kg and 2 kg are hung from the ends as shown in figure. Find the initial angular acceleration of the rod assuming that it was horizontal in the beginning. Now look at the picture here. The 5 kg block has a tendency to move in a clockwise direction. At the same time 2 kg block has a tendency to move in anti-clockwise direction. But we can see from the picture here, 5 kg block is heavier, so clockwise moment will be greater than anti-clockwise moment. So what is the net torque acting on the system? The net torque acting on the system is equal to clockwise moment minus anti-clockwise moment. As we already learned, the torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance. So what is the torque due to 5 kg? So we can write here 5 kg into the g value mg acceleration due to gravity into perpendicular distance that is equal to 1 by 2 because total length is 1 meter right so this become half meter and this is also become half meter so mg into 1 by 2 minus next one what is the anti-clockwise moment we can say here 2 into g into 1 by 2 so what is the final answer for net torque tau net is equal to if i took g is equal to 10 meter per second square we can write the 25 minus 10 that is equal to 15 newton meter is the net to torque acting here the question is asking for the initial angular acceleration so we can use the formula here tau is equal to i alpha so we can use here tau net is equal to i net into alpha therefore what is the angular acceleration alpha is equal to the net torque divided by the net moment of inertia now what is the net moment of inertia here? Let's calculate the total moment of inertia. The total moment of inertia I net is equal to the moment of inertia due to 5 kg. So 5 into R square. What is R value? 1 by 2 all square. Because we already know I is equal to M R square. That is the formula. Now I net is equal to 5 into 1 by 2 all square plus 2 into 1 by 2 all square. This is equal to I net is equal to, if you calculate this one, you will be getting the 7 by 4 kilogram meter square and that is the net moment of inertia. Let's do the calculation here. So we can substitute here what is the tau net which is equal to 15 and what is the I net that is equal to 7 by 4. So into 4 here that is 60 divided by 7. So you are getting final answer is equal to 8.57 rad per second square. I hope you understood this one. Thank you.